Hello, we work, you're welcome to uh, another episode of our classes. Today we shall discuss on database design and modeling. Uh, there are a lot of books written in this concept. You'll be pro provided with some of them via your um, platform. Um, you are expected to be familiar with these uh, shapes. But what we are going to discuss today is how to use modeling tools from MySQL. MySQL Workbench modeling, work, uh, MySQL Workbench. Uh, how do we use it to model our database? How do we know about entities, mapping, relationship, and all that? Uh, we shall model this database, even though these are not the only entities. I only, you know, extracted some. So let's have a hand, hands on on them. These are the three tables we're going to create and create their relationship. Uh, uh, if you want to start creating your relationship, you all know how to reach here by just launching your MySQL workbench. Uh, today we are not dealing going to do, we are not going to deal with connections here. Rather, we're going to do with what models. Okay, so you can just click on this uh, icon. That means we want to create what model. So you can double click on this my DB. So you give it a different file. I mean database name. Uh, I already have a database called Mini Savings, uh, but then maybe let me use Mini Savings too. Or let me put it this way Mini Savings as uh, I use an underscore. And then when you are done with that, you just create, you just click out, and you can uh, close this schema. If you have any constraint, any collation preference, you can select. Collection has to do with, uh, uh, or rather, collation. Some call it collation. It has to do with uh, the kind of uh, language you are going to use in the database tables. So you close it, and then, then uh, mini savings. Look at it; it is active. So if you, if you click on this add diagram, double click it, it gives you, it takes you to this environment, please. So when you are here, you select table. If you look at it, this is where place new table. Just click and click it somewhere, and then you double click it. It is a table. When you double click, it gives you this where you enter the table name. The first one is what? Agent. So, uh, columns of the agents are agent table. Okay, this is a romance, this account, this agent, okay, this is agent, all right, so uh, then you come up with, uh, this is agent, so these are the, the the first thing we have there, the entities, I mean the elements or um, the, the columns in the table are agent ID. So this is where you specify the data type. You see, you are no more using client where you write everything. So you specify the data type here. Already it is an int, of course. So then you specify what is it. This one is auto incremental since it is the primary key and then auto incremental. So if you want it to be zero fill, please 
zero fill, you just click on this ZF. That's zero fill. You know about zero fill, right? Mm -hmm. So then we are done with that. Then you, you move to the next agent name. Agent name is Baka. You can leave it for to five uh, character and it is not an auto increment. Okay. Before agent name, you know we have made modification. We, we want to introduce a agent code, right? Okay. So let me uh, take this to agent code, of which you are going to concatenate with the ID here. So agent code could be, of course, it could be uh, backer, and it is never uh, primary key. So next. Let me increase the width of this. Oh, I think it will, it will be okay. Next is uh, agent name, right? Agent underscore name. And the name Evaka. Uh, it's okay. Next is a uh, username. Of course, username must be unique. Unique. It has to be unique. Then password. Uh, no, password should not be password could be anything and uh, next is dead created dead created and this is also VACA, you know you can just represent VACA so you don't have any issue with dead, dead format or what and you can also check to select from the data type if you want to go by date you can pick date time here for anything or date depending what you are doing so we don't with the table you just click out when you click out uh, this table is done can you see your table is there right yes so then you click on this one again click on and click out double click it so you then go by uh, let's create the enrollment uh, Enrollment. 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 Then you double click this and then you give enrollment what ID. So if you want to introduce enrollment code as we have done for the anyway, this is going to be primary key and uh, it has to be zero field and auto incremental. Okay? So if you want to go by enrollment uh enrollment uh, code okay so you can concatenate from your query okay next is going to be uh, full name full name vaca next phone number phone number it can be phone number this way if you like next username backer username also backer conversion password pin pin number serial number agent ID you see it was spelled directly as it is here exactly so sometimes we do copy from the, uh, the format table and paste so you don't create mistakes here you don't come up with errors so you when you click here it is saved and you click out this is your what your enrollment table okay next is what 
another table which is account this is very simple while creating table this one is very very simple unlike the way you were you were dealing with uh, account okay account it has to be primary key not null zero field and auto incremental next is enrollment enrollment should be vaca but then before i wrote sorry before the, if you want to create account anyway account code is not so that this enrollment id which is a foreign key of enrollment table Next is what? SCCT name. That is account name with underscore. Uh, account number, SCCT number. Uh, account number, date created, right? Date. Create it. So giving it um vaca, you can give it dates format. SCT type that is account type. Next is what ACCT branch branch of the account number of signatories number of signatories next agent id which is a foreign key agent id okay so this is our table and then you click out and close it so we are we are able to come up with the design of two different three different tables where the uh, where the workbench now relationship how do you assign relationship um let me bring this here okay so i uh, please it, uh, do look this is relationship one to one one to many this also one to one relationship okay but uh, you know some uh, with these dots that there, there is a kind of explanation for these dots dotted lines let's just move for the for the ones i don't want to start another thing different let me just go by this is many to many we have concluded that these tables are having many to many relationships so if you click on it you click on one table and click on the other table it will create a relationship for you i'm done with that uh, so i can expand it okay it has it has created a relationship for us many to many relationship okay and then if you click on this also and click on this and click it gives us many to many relationship it's account related to enrollment this is not correct even this is not id account you're supposed to have account id so if you want to make correction you just double click and come up come over here okay account id then you save and click you know when you click out that's all please uh is there a relationship between agent id enrollment id they are there are right yes there is a relationship you can just this first batch just move in there in the next 20 minutes will be done so uh if if if, if you click on this and click and, hit, and click it here 
So you see how relationships have been what? Created. Even though we are not done with the tables, but we can use this to start something. You see, account has enrollment. And enrollment has what? Agent has what? Enrollment. And then agent has account. Of course, all agents, you can just, sometimes we do remove this has and leave uh, only underscore in between the two because you are going sideways. Account has many, agent creates many accounts and many accounts are being created by who? Agent. So if you leave it this way, agent has account, somebody might be thinking as if it is one way. It is not one way, it's double way relationship. This can, this has this and that has this. Okay? So now, after this, then you do something I, I forgot to have written here. Uh, you do something we call forward engineering. <laughs> you, you do forward engineering. Forward engineering, you can also do reverse engineering. <laughs> so this forward engineering means you know uh, our database does not contain anything any data that is called any database called what do we have a database called uh, mini what is the name mini savings mini savings we don't have it in our database let's check Let's check with our with any of the connections. You can just click on here and click on any any of the uh, 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 connection, supply password, and check. Okay, let me see. Sure. Go inside. This is batch A. Show show tables. Sorry, show sorry, show databases. You see here, if you say mini, I want to search mini. The only mini servings we have is just mini servings DB. Yes. Okay. So we don't have it. So now, uh, by by fourth engineering, what we mean is that you you push from the script of MySQL from script of MySQL workbench. You push it to create what database without you without having to say create database all that and then it will create the, the database and the tables and have all constraints you understand and reverse engineering is you create from the database from this ddl dcl database constraints tables you create a you create a model so now from the model here this is the model you can just click on databases and move to what Ford engineering checkmate all this supply password here okay next all this next 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 you see the script it is doing its work okay so it is expected that it has folded this database and all the tables so let's check let's check from the connection let me go to the connection we've just created. Where is it? This one. Okay. Let's now search again. Throw the query again and search for mini. Can you see mini servings, please? Yes. Our database. Yes. We didn't create database ourselves, but we did forward engineering. So let's check on the tables. Use it, please. And what? Show. Show what? Yes. Show tables. So please, how many tables do we have? Six. We have account. These are the main tables. Account, agent, and enrollment. And then we have account has enrollment. And then we have agent has what? Account. And agent has enrollment. So you see, this is what we call Ford engineering. Okay. 
So, uh, as, uh, please, uh, as an assignment, everyone should, should create this database. All right, let me just stop the video here, then we'll discuss.